Guys, I gotta tell you, the word snowflake is just a little too offensive. It's destroying my mental health. You can call me gay, you can call me a piece of shit, but call me a snowflake, that's where I draw the line. Two things really quickly before we get into it. Of course, we're still on the road to 10k, trying to hit that by the summer, but short-term goal, 8,000. So if you guys are new, please subscribe. And secondly, the last video we did talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake getting a new director was apparently a fucking April Fool's joke. I was unaware. 99% of the time when I cover an article, I look at the date. This is one time that I did not. Uh, we hadn't uploaded a video in a while, and honestly, I probably kind of rushed the video out. But I was completely unaware. If you watch the video, you, you can see that I was unaware it was a fucking April Fool's joke. So I appreciate the people who pointed that out to me because I did not realize it was uploaded on April 1st. In the future, of course, we'll try to remedy that type of thing. I put the video as unlisted, so if you have a link to the video, you can still watch it. So if you go to my Twitter or whatever, you can still watch the video if you guys want to. Anyways, back on topic. The word snowflake, obviously the most offensive word in the English lexicon. Is that a word? Am I using lexicon right? I think I am. You should never call somebody a snowflake because it could be destroying their mental health. Being called a snowflake is damaging to mental health, young people say. Figures show that the majority of young people think the term is unfair, and even more think it could have a negative effect of its own. The snowflake generation is a disparaging term now commonly used to refer to young people who are perceived to be oversensitive and intolerant of disagreement. Being upset over a simple word like this is why people make fun of you or call you names. Like, it's ridiculous to be upset over the word snowflake. This really came from, like, people making fun of people who think that they're special because, you know, every snowflake is supposed to be different. And now we have this generation that demands, you know, everything. You cannot treat them badly. You cannot say the word, anything about them. Ne nothing negative. Nothing at all. Like, e they think they're special. They deserve everything. So that's why we refer to them as snowflakes. And the fact that it might be destroying their mental health just makes me want to use it more. But research by insurance firm Aviva found that 72% of 16 to 24 year olds think the term is unfairly applied, while 74% think it could have a negative effect on young people's mental health. Knowing that there's a company out there actually doing research on this topic is just mind blowing to me. How do you have the time to research whether or not the word snowflake has some sort of a negative effect on people? Also, since you're asking the target audience, the, the people who'd be called a snowflake, of course they're going to say, yes, this has a negative effect on me. Like, why don't you ask other people, like people who actually use the term? Because if, say, you were to ask me, do I think the word snowflake has a negative effect on somebody's mental health, I'd probably laugh in your face because that's a stupid fucking statement. It's a word. It's a simple word. It's not even an offensive word. It's actually a pretty accurate term when you think about it, because this generation, like, the way people are these days, everybody thinks they're fucking special. Everybody thinks that they deserve everything. Of course, I don't mean, like, people watching this video. You guys know what I'm talking about. Not, like, literally every fucking person. But the majority of people these days, these younger people, think that they deserve the fucking world and you can't treat them badly. And it's like, whatever, I'm gonna hit you with a dose of reality, you fucking snowflake. The figures also show that young people are more likely to have experienced stress, anxiety, and depression in the last year. Almost half of adults between 16 and 24 said that they had experienced stress or anxiety compared to just over a third of all UK adults. To me, this just further backs up the use of the term snowflake. You think you guys are special because you get stress, anxiety, and depression? I hate to break it to you, but literally every goddamn human on this planet goes through stress, anxiety, and depression. You're not special. You're not the only people going through this. There is not one person watching this video right now who has not experienced one or all of those at some point in their life. Shut the hell up. The firm's medical expert, Dr. Doug Wright, said the term could cause problems. Our findings suggest that young adults are more likely to be experiencing mental health problems, so using a phrase which criticizes this age group could add to this issue. While young adults in particular appear to take offense to the snowflake label, the majority of adults agree that the term is unfair and unhelpful, so it's important that people consider how such labels are used and the cumulative effect they could have on their recipients, he said. Sounds like this doctor might have been called a snowflake once or twice in his life. He sounds weak as hell, man. This is why people make fun of you guys. This is why people make fun of this generation, this snowflake generation as they're calling it. Because you guys take offense to so many things, such little things. I can understand if somebody calls you like a racial slur or makes fun of the fact that you are gay or something, you're a homosexual. Like, I get it, okay? It makes sense. They're just words, but I can at least accept that. If somebody calls you something like a snowflake and you start talking about how it's damaging your mental health, that's where it's like, get the fuck out of here, you fucking pussy. I cannot possibly take you serious at that point. Like, how do you expect me to care about your feelings when you're freaking out over such simple terms? 
you know, somebody making fun of you or even being bullied or whatever is such a microcosm of life. There's so much more to the real world than some kid at school calling you gay or something like that. Some, some kid pushing you into a locker, whatever the case. Like, being bullied or whatever is so small. It's not even a major part of actual life. And I'll be honest, I can't relate with the people who get offended this easily or get bullied or whatever you want to call it. I wasn't bullied in school. It's not that fucking hard to stand up for yourself. I'm not saying you gotta fight. Some guy, some guy comes up to you, pushes you or whatever, and you gotta like start swinging on him and fight and either get your ass kicked or kick his ass. But it's not hard to stand up for yourself. There's never gonna be a time in human existence. I want you to hear me say these words. There's never gonna be a time where people aren't making fun of each other. You have to learn to get the hell over it or stand up for yourself. That's it. That's all. There's nothing else to the conversation. Not every single person you meet throughout the entirety of your life is going to like you. They're going to dislike you for whatever reason, make fun of you for whatever reason. You have to get the fuck over it. I know that little dose of reality might be destroying your mental health, but you have to learn to accept it. You're absolutely not special. Neither am I. I'm nobody at all. I'm just some guy who makes YouTube videos talking shit most of the time. I'm nobody special. You're nobody special. We just have to learn to deal with that, guys. It's not a big deal. You go on living your life. You're not a special person. Once you accept this shit, life for you will be so much easier. I promise. Anyways, that's the video, my dudes. Let me know your thoughts below as usual. Are you offended by the word snowflake? Did you realize the negative effects it might have on people that you are calling snowflake? Hopefully you guys, girls, and transgenders enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, turn on my notifications, follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David. links to my social networks are in the description, and in the outro. Later guys.